Today on Tau Flare Mouse, we're going to test out the experimental Turbo Slug. You're watching Tau Flare Mouse. Hello, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. We've tested a lot of weird slugs on this channel, and this one ranks right up there as one of the weirdest. This is the Turbo Slug made by no other than master genius Evan Perry. Now, I don't know where one would find a tiny little turbine wheel like that, or turbine if you're British. But this has an impeller on the front and also one on the back. I guess that makes it a twin turbo. But there's no doubt it's very cool looking and I appreciate the craftsmanship. Now when this is shot through rifling, it will spin in the proper direction at about 32,000 RPM. And yes, the bottom impeller is also spinning in the proper direction too. Because I know a thousand people will be asking me that question anyway. Now these are pretty lightweight, weighing in at just under 14 grams or around half an ounce. Or if you're one of those gun people, about 214 grains. Now this is the part of the video where most content creators would ask you to like and share and subscribe, but you'll probably find yourself mysteriously unsubscribed a few weeks later. So why bother? Now one of the challenges I have is to figure out how to load these things so that they function as the creator intends them to function. So we'll be using a discarding split sabo that sits on top of a cork quad to give it proper support. And then finally, a gas seal called the Obturator 12. That's fancy. Now, since these are very lightweight projectiles, we'll need a fast burning powder and I'll be using 20 grains of Alliant E3 powder. With that, we should be able to get a velocity of around 1,600 feet per second. So stand by for trouble. Stand by for suspense. Stand by for adventure. Welcome back, Talflater folks. Jeff behind the camera and OG out here bringing you another creation from Evan Perry. You know him. Guys want to be him. Girls want to get with him. He has submitted probably more slugs to this channel than I think anybody else. Yeah, I, I, he has. Yeah, and he hand builds these things too. These are not on a big giant machine in a factory. He sits down with a drill, bolted down to a table, and hand hand whittles these things. Eden comes to us from Texas. Today he has brought us the Turbo Slug, and the Turbo Slug is just guaranteed to go faster because it's got Turbo in the name, right? <laughs> in addition to having a little fan shape on the top and the bottom, Evan has mounted what we think is a sling stud from a rifle. It looks a lot like the pieces that you I didn't even I didn't even get that, you know? Yeah. It's like, Only oh, because I, I bought right. a million of them and lost a million of them. And oh, okay. Put them on rifles and shotguns. This one doesn't have one, but the little thing on the bottom of a, of a rifle stock that allows you to clip your uh, sling to it, it looks like that's the little piece he put on there. Jeff has tucked some colored, some tissue paper in there with colored dye. It's dry right now. We are going to dip it in some water to activate that food coloring, send it downrange, see if it leaves us a little colored trail on the way downrange. We also had a uh, viewer wonder if these things were going to whistle as they fly downrange because they have a little fan shape to them. And we are going to be firing them through this rifled barrel, so they will be hopefully yeah, the, spinning. They've got to be shot through rifling. I mean, if we shot them through without the spin, the fan blades are not going to induce spin. No. That doesn't really happen. They just There's look not really, enough time for that. They look really cool, and they blow a lot of air around, I guess. Yeah. The theory. Here we go. Wow, light recoil, and it looks like it hit it right on the frame sticker. I don't believe it. I gave these things a 50-50 chance of working. Now, when Greg and I were filming this, uh, we had hearing protection on. We just heard a boom, had no clue. We couldn't hear that scream of these things as they went down range. In fact, they sounded much like a stormtrooper blaster. Now, this first shot was very accurate, but honestly, I can't tell by the high speed whether or not it was actually stable in flight or not. I could tell from shooting, had very light recoil, so my eyes were back on target, but I could tell I hit the orange sticker, so that was accurate. And when I got down here, check this out. Look at this shape in here. That is the exact sideways profile of oh, the slug. Oh, no. You can even see that little, uh, the little nub on top. I don't know if the high speed is going to show much because I was I had it panned way out. and Dial way not, down to low speed. Yeah, it was, seven, yeah. Seven feet per frames per second or something. Well, that was like uh, 1,600 or something. I went inside the carrier here while Jeff was walking up and I found this little slug. I'm gonna set it here so I'm, my shaky hands aren't uh, holding it. That's not helping. Oh, you can okay. see the uh, You can see the little fan shapes on top and on bottom and the little screw that's holding it together. 
We did lose the little nub on top. It's in there somewhere. Okay. But well, uh, despite it looked accuracy good. Yeah. Uh, stability maybe not good. Well, even if it was flying sideways, I mean the accuracy. We're at 15 yards. That is a rifled barrel. We hit exactly where we wanted. So. Yeah. Okay, ballistic gel gummy bear. Here we go between his bare arms. Oh, I saw something down 1602. Range. Saw something on the safety road. In shot number two, we had very good stability and relatively good accuracy. It was about an inch low and inch to the right. The damage to the ballistic gel bear was interesting there. We seemed to knock the gummy worms out of him. So the turbo slugs are definitely looking promising. Let's continue our tests. Did it, hit, did it hit nose first? Yeah, it was flying straight and true that time. Okay. I was aiming for between his little bear paws. We hit a little low and left, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Um, left a little cool green trail. I don't know if, was there any mist? I, 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 mist? It's hard to see on that on that uh, camera screen. Okay. Maybe you guys uh, will see I saw it. something, though. Maybe you guys will see it. Um, we did, however, leave a little green food coloring here in the hole. He's got a green hole in his chest and a green exit hole. And if your hole is green, you might want to talk to your doctor and see if Ogesia is right for you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the green hole. God, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay, the last one, 1602 feet per second, which is about what I uh, expected. Here we go. Wow, we got the air, it looks like. There was some purple drink in there. Now on this shot, the turbo slug decided to go a little bit high and a little bit left. Now because of the unusual shape of these projectiles, I wasn't sure if I would get a good tight Sabo fit so that we would get good engagement with the rifling, but it seems to be working pretty well. It's easy for me to screw things up just by the way I load them. Darth Vader boot. <laughs> Tactical ballistic boot. It's like a Chinese army boot. Yeah, okay, go. I'm ready. Something. 1611. Okay, that's about what. Not sure if there was water behind that, but. Yeah. It... Ready. Our last shot was a little to the left, and this one is a little bit to the right. And we can see we hate it's spinning really well, but it's kind of uh, wandering around a little bit. Now, these are some very unorthodox slugs, and keep that in mind. I was amazed we were able to achieve any kind of stability and accuracy. The tactical taco. It is a tactical Doritos Locos taco, Jeff. <laughs> Not even the flies will eat that. No thing. one's going to complain if we no. shoot that. Well, you guys are wasting food. Uh. Well, no, we're not, because it's not food. <laughs> Here we go. OK, hey, OK. You knew that was going to be good. Come on. <laughs> 1608. The first shot that missed actually flew really well. The second shot that hit had quite a bit of a speed wobble to it, but it hit. Top Flyer Mouse is in no way sponsored by Taco Bell. Everybody loves the taste. a stack of expired vegetables downrange that we're going to blow up, but we have a special guest with us. Travis Kelsey has joined us today with uh, the express written permission of the NFL, and we're going to set Travis Kelsey down there on the can of corn, see if we can shoot the corn out from under him. We don't want to injure him, star player but, and all but, that. But Greg, what, what, what kind of socks is he wearing today? <laughs> Travis I've Kelsey. I've got to know these things. Holy God. Yeah, evidently he's dating like Britney Spears or... I don't know. Diana Ross. Diana or, Ross. Yeah, some, I, I, someone. Yeah. He's dating some, a star. Yeah. So let's go put Travis, Travis down range. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, no. I thought, saw two Sabos. I don't know, because that dot is dead center. Yeah. Never been more sure about the dot. Now the turbo slug is starting to behave like the Stormtrooper blaster. Not just in sound, but also inaccuracy. We take down this target array that we can't seem to hit with Evan slugs. 
we're going to substitute in a Brennecke Super Sabo. We had a lot of problems with these back when we were testing them. I just found one in my truck, so. Oh, where'd, that, where'd that come from? Remember, they were just. It's been hanging out in the side of my shop. I've, I've seen videos where people, they work great for other people. For us, they were just failure after yeah. failure. It's because of our uh, barometric pressure. I want to knock that corn can, get that corn out of my face. Yep. Right out from underneath Travis, so you need to do it. Yeah, kind of corn out of my face. Look at that. Tactical ballistic jug. Slide jug. Oh my god. I swear to god that dot was dead center. Yeah. The turbo slugs were definitely cool, but they were very unpredictable. But at least they make cool sounds, huh? Much like our dating history, these slugs have started out impressive and then ended up underwhelming. <laughs> so uh, we just shot our last one. We've still got a target downrange. I've thrown in a uh, Federal Flight Control out of a standard old smoothbore, no choke. This is the old beater Talflator shotgun using a standard old round. And sometimes when things fail, you just go back to the uh, back to the basics. So let's blow up that jug so you guys got something splashy to watch, and then we can all go home. It's the Weatherby PA459. Is that Weatherby PA459 and a little cheap Bushnell TR25. This thing's been beat to hell for what eight years now? Or yeah, something? a long time. It shot everything under the sun, and the red dot's still going too. So it's kind of amazing. A little. You just have to remember to turn that red dot off. Yeah. We turn that <laughs> off and we're going to turn off the uh, Gobu Tar on Danny's shotgun too. He was very diligent about that. Yep. So, all right, let's blow it up. All right, final shot. Here we go. When you're ready? I'm ready. That's right. Back to the basics. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, when your Stormtrooper blaster ammo fails you, you can always count on the Federal Flight Control if you can find it. The turbo seemed to make it go faster at, at about 1,600 feet per second average. It made it go faster up there. Yeah, <laughs> I think it, from target. It, it was causing it some, uh, causing it to not be very accurate, yeah, I'm they, afraid. It seemed to be going consistently high and right. I don't yeah, know what it at even first made they, an adjustment to the scope and it yeah. still was just kind of unpredictable. Yeah, we dialed some clicks of uh, windage into it. Didn't really seem to help, but Evan, we still appreciate you sending stuff out. If you didn't make a lot of hand whittled stuff, if we didn't have some failures, I mean, how would you even, how would you even gauge that stuff? Yeah, made it all on tabletop by hand. So. We, we had it, we had enough that it wor it worked pretty well in, in a lot of shots, and we, we I think we got a little cocky with some of the small targets. Well, we managed to blow up a damn taco, so that's all that matters. <laughs> that is all that matters. Anyway, we appreciate you guys watching it. Even the uh, underwhelming ones are fun to, fun to see and fun to predict what's going on. I know we, we get used to having only uh, the winners out here and think that all the failures are going to be bombs, but they're still fun to watch. So yeah. thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. New helmet.